Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you something incredibly awesome and a secret. This is something that not a lot of people know about. This is something that not a lot of people talk about, but I really want to talk about it because I am going to be using this for my own icons and I want you to use it for your own icon set if you've created one. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to create your own icon font. And not just that, I'm also going to be showing you how to create an icon font like Font Awesome, where if you type the home icon, that's going to generate the home icon. If you type, let's say, arrow minus left, that's going to generate the arrow icon. Arrow left icon, arrow minus right is just going to generate that. Link icon is just going to generate the link icon and all of that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and have a look at how we go about doing this. So imagine you have a font library already created which has solid icons. Now that's ext extremely important. In order for this to work, you need to have solid shapes as icons instead of outlines. So once you have all of the solid shapes, and it's really easy to convert the outlines into solid shapes if you are, in fig if you are experienced in Illustrator, so you can do that too. But here I am using the hero icons uh, that most of you would probably be familiar with. These are icons uh, generated by the makers of Tailwind CSS. I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to, first of all, delete some of the stuff that I have here. So again, we don't get distracted. And then I'm going to download all of these icons as SVG. Uh, so once I have that done here, I have the icons generated. Here are all the icons that I need. And now I'm going to go to Google. In Google, you need to search for Icomoon. You're going to click on the first link of icomoon.io. This is the site. This is the exact site that I want you to go on. You need to click on Icomoon app at the top. Once you've done that, you need to click on import icons. And once you have all of the icons selected by command A or by selecting all of them, you need to click on open. That's going to upload your icons directly to this particular uh, application. You need to now go ahead and select all of the icons by dragging and dropping. And once you have made your selection, you can click on generate font. Once you click on generate font, you can go into the preferences to name the icon, uh, to give the icon a name. I'm gonna say these are my my hero icons. Uh, you can close this and now you can give the names of the icons. So in this case, this would be, I would say adjustments. And I'm gonna give this a separate name as well, like controls. I think that's more relevant for this particular one. Then I'm gonna say this is gonna be arrow minus left and this one would be arrow minus right. Now it's really important that we're setting the ligatures here. We're not setting the name of the icons. The ligatures are gonna define what you type to actually get these icons. It's also really important that if you don't see the ligatures, you need to click on this FI icon at the top left. If you don't click them, if you don't click it, then obviously that ligature uh, field is not gonna appear. So you need that active. Once you have all of the ligature set up, I'm not gonna set all of them up. Uh, you're gonna click on download. Once you click on download, you're gonna have the icons downloaded uh, as a zip. Then you're gonna, you, you can go to the fonts and you can click on my, you can just download the My Hero Icons TTF. Once you do that, you can click on install font. That's gonna install the icon for you. And now that it's installed, I'm just going to press Command N to open a new design file just to show how this works and how awesome this is and how easy it is to begin with. I'm going to generate an icon called arrow minus left. Then I'm going to have an icon called arrow minus right. Then we're going to have adjustments. Then we're going to have controls. So here I have the icons. Obviously, the controls and the adjustments in our case is the same icon. But I just wanted to show how you can use multiple ligatures to generate the same icon. Once you have that done, I'm going to select all of the text and I'm going to change the font on the right, as you can see, to my hero icons. Once I do that, as you can see, now I have the icons created. And these icons are just awesome. I mean, this whole thing is really easy and it's really awesome and it's going to add a lot of value to you using your icon library. So that's going to be pretty much it. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon. Let me know if you actually knew this feature and if there's anything I can help you with. Take care. Bye.